Hello, Russell and Lauren Mark here from Go Shooting. Today we branch out into a new arm of our company, product reviews. We'll try to give you an unbiased appraisal of anything new that has come into the world of shotgun shooting that we think may be of interest to potential consumers. You may not like or agree what we have to say, but we can only give you an honest appraisal of the product that is presented to us. Today we are going to review an exciting new shotgun that is now on the market here in Australia, the Benelli 828U Sport. Benelli made their name in the world of semi-automatics, but they've made a brave step into the competitive world of over and under sporting shotguns with this new model. Let's take a closer look. At first glance, you'd be excused for thinking that it appears a little cheaper plastic looking, but a closer inspection reveals that's far from the truth. Let's put it together. It initially hinges together on its Beretta-like pins, but that's where the similarity pretty much ends. Benelli's unique patented locking system holds the barrel and the action together. It's a very solid connection. It feels good. It's a little bit high, it needs a little bit of cast, but that can be overcome. We'll get to that shortly. So this is a 76 centimeter barrel model. It comes with five interchangeable external chokes. Cylinder, one quarter, one half, three quarter, and full. No barrel weights or bore sizes are stamped on the barrels, but for those technically minded, I'm told the bore size is 18.4. And the barrels weigh in at nearly 1.55 kilograms. The barrel design has a few distinct features, starting with the matte black non-reflective finish, no side ribs and a carbon fibre main rib at the top of the barrel to keep the weight down to a minimum. The rib is interchangeable and is held on by this small screw in the front and is aided by the grooves that fit underneath the barrel posts. I like this idea, if you want to see less rib and make the gun shoot lower, then you'll simply use a higher rib. I can't tell you what the options are in rib sizes at the moment, but no doubt eventually there'll be several. This rib is parallel, it's 10 millimetres wide and drops from 9.5 millimetres at the back down to 5 millimetres at the front. This aids in a flatter siding plane along the rib. The rib amazingly weighs only 71 grams. Now there is no centre bead to aid along down the barrel. Instead there's this groove track right along the middle. If your eye isn't down the centre then this grooved path will quickly tell you so. Years ago I think it was the Frankie Barrage that had a similar feature with a thin red line extending all the way down the barrel. I think the Benelli idea is more subtle but it serves the same purpose. The stock features the Benelli Progressive Balancing System, which is a series of weights that can be added behind the recoil pad. We will pull this apart in a minute. In total, the gun weighs 3.7 kilograms and is perfectly balanced. There is no need to add any more weight to this particular shotgun. Some other features which I like is a simple way to take the forend off. Just squeeze the forend onto the barrel and click this button. A great way to preserve my fingernails, and the other feature I like is the ejector system. Unlike most other brands, the ejectors only engage when a live round has been fired. The gas-operated ejector system is entirely maintained within the barrels, which allows the receiver to be made stronger. The trigger assembly is simple to take out for cleaning or any maintenance. You simply insert this gadget into the hole behind the trigger guard and push it until you hear it click, and then they simply drop out. The trigger is adjustable with five different positions to cater for a good variety of hand sizes. One other feature which I like is the detachable breech face to aid in maintenance. I won't pull it apart for you today, but it's a very, very smart idea. And an ergonomic style top lever that is comfortable for both left and right handers. Very stylish indeed. Okay, let's get on to what I believe is the main feature of this shotgun, the 828U's adjustable stock. Now you're going to think I'm crazy because you can't see a conventional adjustable comb like this one here. But this stock has a huge ability for adjustment both in cast and in drop. Now if you're a purist that doesn't like to see your walnut stock cut apart with an adjustable comb, then this system is for you. With this array of shims, I can get up to 40 different different cast and drop positions. Here's how it works. Now once you unbolt the stock, with these shims you can adjust its height and cast. A word of warning though, the stock removal key isn't supplied with the shotgun. 
have a look at the combination sequence in the instruction manual to find the stock measurements that are right for you. Now, as I said before, this stock has currently got too much cast and is a little bit too high for me. Let's just quickly see what the drop dimensions are. Now, the drop at the comb is 35 millimetres and the drop at the heel is 41. That's actually higher than the gun I currently shoot trap with. So to get six millimeters of cast and a bit more drop at the comb, I simply look at the guide and it tells me to insert a specific combination of shims. To go halfway down and to add more cast, I need to add the following combination of shims. B, DX6 and BDX. First, we take off the progressive balancing system recoil pad by simply removing these four screws. So you can see here where the extra weights can be fitted for balancing. They just tighten up here with two screws. Okay, with the right tool, it doesn't take much to get the bolt off. Be careful when the stock actually comes because the action will fall off from the bottom. Okay, so now I just replace the old shims with the new combinations. Two between the stock and the action of the gun and one will be inserted inside. A bit of fiddling, an extra set of hands would be nice, but we'll get it all back together. Okay, make sure everything's tight. Now let's see what our new stock dimensions measure. Our new dimensions have gone from 35 to 38 mils at the comb and from 41 to 51 millimetres at the heel. So let's see how this now feels with the new adjustments. Gun's unloaded. Perfectly down the centre, just the right height to shoot trap with. This gun came with a right hand palm swell, but the stock can be adjusted for a left handed shooter, which this palm swell won't suit. Don't stress, there are left hand palm swell stocks available to cater for left handers like myself. So what's the good and the bad with the Benelli 828U Sport? The positives are the weight of the gun, perfectly balanced with the options of lightweight carbon fiber interchangeable ribs to help obtain the perfect sight picture. It's certainly modern in design and stylish in looks. After all, it's Italian made, you'd expect nothing else. It steers away from traditional looking shotguns in favour of practical features to improve performance. The shim system is revolutionary and offers a good variety in height and cast. Its range of adjustability in its stock gives the shotgun the option of a wide variety of uses. The length of pull can't be adjusted if you want to keep the progressive balancing system attached. I guess if you are anywhere in the vicinity of 175 to 190 centimeters tall, you may be able to work with the standard length of pull. On this gun, it was 380 millimeters at the heel and 390 millimeters at the toe. These are very common dimensions. If you can't handle a stock that's this long, then the easy option is to get rid of the progressive balancing system, which is 30 millimeters in length, and replace it with a smaller pad. This will shorten the stock by up to 20 millimeters. The negatives I I feel include the lack of a purpose made stock tool to adjust the shims, you'll need to go out and buy a long reach 13mm hex head narrow shaft socket wrench. I hope Benelli overcome this. Retailing at around $5,700, the Benelli 828U Sport fits perfectly between the standard Beretta 690 style Bates model shotguns and their luxury DT11. The Beretta 694 is probably the shotgun in direct opposition to this firearm. Overall we like it. The good certainly outweighs the bad. Benelli have always thought outside of the square. The shotgun is marketed as a sporter, but as Lauren mentioned, the versatility in the stock and the overall weight allows the firearm to easily be classified as a true all-round shotgun that can be used just as competently on the trap and skeet range as easily as it could be used on the field or the sporting range. It's been made for the competitor, not the traditionalist. It certainly warrants a test drive. We hope Hope you've enjoyed our review of the Benelli 828U Sport and look forward to seeing you with one in your hands at a range real soon.